Hi, this is Alicia, and today I want to talk to you about custom fields. So inside of Microsoft Dynamics D365 Finance and Supply Chain, the system actually gives you the ability to add fields to tables, and it's not a modification. It is system-wide when you do it, um, so you do have the ability to actually add fields to the screens. But sometimes what happens is you add a field to a screen and then you're like, where did this field come from? Because I can't find the setup table for it or, uh, you know, I need to make a change to it or something like that. So because when you're looking at the field on the screen, you don't know that it's a custom field. So as an example, I'm in Asset Management Assets, All Assets, and there's a field here called Make. Well, this field is not native to D365. This field was actually a custom field added to the screen. So by looking at the screen again, you have no way of knowing that. How you can tell is if you actually just right mouse on the field. Well, this one's gonna be a little bit tough because, oh, there we go. So you're gonna just click on the name. And when you go down here for form information, you see this control name is Sysgen. So if this is Sysgen, you know it's a custom field. It was not native to D365 and it was not a modification. So this was just a field added to the screen. So now if you're coming up saying, well, you know, I wanna make a change to this. Maybe I wanna change the length of the field or I wanna do something to it. Now that you know that it's a custom field, you can go under system administration, setup, custom fields. And then here you're gonna pick the table. So any table inside of the application that has a custom field will show up in this list. You simply pick the table that you want to look at and then here you can see those fields and at this point you could delete them you can make changes to them like if I wanted to change the length of the field I can do that here so the next time you're looking at a screen and you see a field that doesn't seem like it's there organically it may not be again just go right mouse on the field and check the control name